So we got this uh, little change of the uh, grip here. It's got a regular PSA uh, stock grip that came with this pistol. I don't even know, uh, not pistol, but this uh, AR. It's uh, a couple years old, but we're gonna go more closer. I mean, you know, I already know, once you start getting different company, uh, FDE, they kind of don't, they're not all the same shade, but this will be better than the black. I believe it'll be a little bit closer. So we're gonna do a quick video and install this Ergo uh, Deluxe Sure Grip. Um, did come in a uh, little plain package, really no instructions, but this is the Ergo AR-15 M16 Deluxe Tactical Grip, uh, Sure Grip FDE. Uh, it comes with this little gap right here. Uh, I guess it's going to eventually be right here. It's going to close this gap underneath the trigger guard. Uh, it does come with another uh, screw and, and nut. And then, of course, I already have the tool, uh, the long Allen ball, the with the ball end at the end, the Allen wrench, or Allen key, rather. All right, so pretty simple. What we're going to do is just go ahead and take our old one off. So you are, if you guys are familiar, we're going to get in here. And see if I can get a good view on camera. It's a little dark. There we go. We're just going to get this guy out of there. And when you're taking these off, if you haven't already, remember there's a um, little detent for that holds your safety in here. So as you're taking this off, you really got to be careful and don't lose that little guy. So what you want to do is put pressure on the uh, grip that's on there now, kind of force it down so it doesn't just pop off on you. So we'll go ahead and, and take this guy off. Doesn't take too long, it's just a few little spins and you'll you'll feel that come right out. And you can start to kind of uh, depress it, let it pop forward a little bit and you'll see the detent here on this side. And let's go ahead and go a little bit more. And that should do it. So I see it coming out. Be careful there. Still, still got some good grease and lube in there. And it looks like our screw may still need a couple more turns. Let's go ahead and get that all the way. Looks like it's lubed pretty well. So that's there. We go. <clears throat> so as you guys can see, it's got some good grease in here, so that it was able to kind of hold it in place a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and set this guy to the side. We'll be replacing that here. Get that screw. We'll probably use the original one. So that's come off pretty easy. I'll throw that out to the side. All right, so we got the old grip off. As you can see, there's the, your hole for your little, uh, your spring, your detent, the safety. We've kind of pre-installed it here. And here's the little gapper that it comes with. So you see it's got a longer side and a short side. So the longer side will be facing the bottom of the trigger guard and you're going to kind of just set that in place kind of push it as far as you as far as you can go and it really has to be lined up with the end of your trigger guard there you see we still have a little bit of a gap but so we'll get that forward and uh, as you see as we start to put the uh, grip on there it'll actually do some of the work for us all right so trying to keep your spring your detent there it's got a little bit of lube or grease in there, so it kind of holds it in place for us. So if you want to dab a little bit of uh, grease in there, mine was already there from cleaning previously. So as you see, you start to make contact here. You can start, zoom in there a little bit. There we, go, there we go. You start to make that contact and you can use this to kind of help wedge that gapper forward a little bit, have it seat a little bit better, but be careful of your spring. I'm still watching the spring from this side making sure you don't bend it or, or make any kinks in it as we're trying to seat this gapper in a little bit better uh, it looks like it's pretty good there all right so now you can go ahead and let that spring a little safety detent fall in place pushing forward there we go just popped right in now this is secure making sure it's not protruding underneath blocking anything down here with your behind your trigger inspecting your detent it's still good to go and you want to put down pressure and make sure we do not uh make any um any kinks in that right you always got to keep watching that and let's go ahead and get this guy in there drops right in and let's make a couple turns so it at least catches 
and we're not dealing with a loose uh, screw there. And then keep an eye on this spring. I'm still watching here, pushing forward and down, making sure there are no kinks. And let's keep on tightening. And as you tighten, you'll see the gap will start closing uh, for you there. And that's what we want. You should hear another little pop or see a little pop in the grip as you're going further in, as I'm seeing now. And it's closing that gap for us. There we go. Nice and tight, and that's it. So you wanna make sure to do a safety check. <clears throat> it's on safe now, we're in fire mode. All right. So a couple safety checks, make sure it's still working. Let's go ahead and take a look. We are empty. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Nothing chambered. Make sure your safety works. Hit fire. Let's do a couple of those. Make sure we are good to go. Safety. And still good to go. And that's it, folks. Easy install of your new grip. They pretty much all work the same. If you have any questions, comments, uh, go ahead and let me know down below. Be sure to subscribe. Always open to feedback. Uh, as you guys can see some of my videos, appreciate any kind of feedback. But go ahead and subscribe if you like the videos. Fat Tactical.